Partner models are now integrated directly into Photoshop, giving you more creative control and choice than ever before. These new models are ideal for style transfer, complex transformations, or consistent character design, and they work seamlessly within the familiar generative fill workflow. Let's take a look. I'll start by combining these three elements using Flux Context Pro, one of our new partner models. First, I'll select the entire canvas, then click Generative Fill from the Contextual taskbar. Next, I'll paste in my instructional prompt, telling Photoshop to combine these images and make the woman in the foreground and the unicorn in the background. Then I'll open the Model Picker, which is a new addition to the Generative Fill panel. From here, I can choose between Firefly and a variety of partner models. In this case, I'll select Flux Context Pro, then click Generate. Partner models respond best to instructional prompts, so use verbs to tell the model what to do. For example, combine, transform, or add motion. If you're using Firefly, keep prompts descriptive instead. Focus on what you want to see, not what to do. And just like that, all three elements are merged with a single command. In the Layers panel, you'll see a generative fill layer, and in the Properties panel, note that partner models return a single variation, along with the model name used to create it. Now let's switch to another example using Gemini 2.5, also known as Nano Banana. This model excels at maintaining character consistency, even when you change clothing, hairstyle, background, or artistic style. Whether you're turning a portrait into a watercolor painting or reimagining it in another decade, Nano Banana keeps your subject recognizable. You can also provide on-canvas guidance by sketching directly on your image. Here, I drew the shape of a hat and prompted the model to create one in that shape, resulting in a perfect match. Partner model access is available with a premium subscription, unlocking advanced creative capabilities within Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more Photoshop tips and tutorials.